Hey guys, it's Serena Starships, and I am craving chicken nuggets from Wendy's. Okay, so I got three piles for you here. We're going to find out, can I trust this person? So, this is good for new friends. This is good for going on a first date with someone. You know, you could apply it to whatever situation you want. Family member, even. Um, But let's go ahead and find out. Can I trust this person? Okay, now this one is, I always forget the name of this crystal, Carnelian, Raw Carnelian, Adventurine, or Adventurine, Adventurine, I was right the first time, and then some Raw Amethyst along with it. So go ahead, pause the video if you need to, just take a moment and decide which crystal is really calling out to you. Is it the Carnelian, the Adventurine, or the Amethyst? So I'll give you a moment. Alright, so let's go ahead and find out. Can I trust this person? It's gonna be one, two, three. So let's get started with numero uno. Alrighty. Sorry, I know that's weird. I don't know why I do that. Okay. Four of Wands, celebration. Nine of Wands, having your guard up. Five of Pentacles, being left out in the cold. Ten of Pentacles, wish fulfillment. Queen of Wands. Let's see what this one is. Have it here. Okay. Hold on. Let me just go ahead and think about this. Because it's weird to have good cards and bad cards about this type of question. Um, let's see. Queen. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Okay. So, what I'm getting is this person has been screwed in the past, to be honest. So they put their guard up, see? Screwed in the past with this five of pentacles left out in the cold. They definitely got their guard up or you do but I'm feeling like this is their energy once you put the work in once you put the work in and once you prove to them that this isn't just a little thing like you're not just here for a good time or you're not just here for the moment because you know you're like a fair weather friend then then they can you can they trust you if you trust them they might be scorpio i'm getting heavy scorpio vibes from this like they do not trust easy but if you can show them that you trust them they will trust you so i would say yeah they're pretty trustworthy man they're pretty trustworthy it's just this past let me go ahead and pull some clarifiers well, I feel like I don't need clarifiers. Like, actually, this is a really clear message. Yeah, they are trustworthy. Um, They may be giving you a vibe like like they're aloof or they're, they're not ready to open up or they're kind of keeping their distance. They have their guard up because of past experiences. Like, they don't want to get screwed over again. <sighs> they... The next time, here's what I heard. The next time they trust, they want it to be their last time, if that makes sense. So, like, like that saying, I felt like the next person I kiss, I want it to be the last person I kiss or something like that. So, they're going to make you work for it. And then they'll show you how trustworthy they can be. <laughs> yeah, I would be surprised if you weren't dealing with a Scorpio because <laughs> this is heavy Scorpio vibes but they're just so damn adamant they're like yeah we can we can trust each other but you gotta prove I can trust you first hoes yeah okay so let's go ahead and pull you some advice um yeah this was really quick it just let me know yeah they're trustworthy but they're not gonna trust you right off the bat you need to prove yourself or this could be your energy as well but i'm seeing the outcome as a celebration happy stability let's check out that little family right there you know there's a lot of trust within families usually <laughs> it's just like yeah it's looking good it's feeling good i see no negative energy no negative 
anything here. It's just they got their guard up. And that's why they're coming off as, you know, and that's why they may be kind of keeping a distance from you right now. So you're like, should I even trust this person? They're not even really investing time in me. That could be why, man. They got their guard up. So let's see. Let's get some advice. <sighs> Please tell us. What advice do you have for pile number one? Those who chose the crystal I always forget the name of. I forgot the name of it. <laughs> pile number one. Do we have any more advice besides the one card? Oh, thank you. All right. So we got Queen of Wands. Double Queen of Wands. Interesting. Let's see what the advice is. So that means take this advice to heart. This is like, this is what you need to know. Okay, wands. Queen of Wands. So I'll read the whole thing to you because I feel like it's important. The Queen of Wands represents a person who is very dynamic and energetic, projected towards success, and capable of optimal and generous advice. Her experience will also bring protection, self-assurance, professional objectives. Only an excess of authori authoritarianism or obstinacy can cause instability, caprice, possessiveness, and inability to communicate one's own ideas. Concentrate your energies on the fundamental things in order to realize your projects. Ecom why does this little book use such weird words? Economizing and cutting off anything super, super flows. Okay. So basically that's just saying like, don't overdo it. Like, don't lie to them about, don't lie about petty, stupid shit. Like, like, oh, your hair looks so good today. Like they'll catch on to that right away and be like, oh, we're like that, huh? Like they don't even like the littlest of lies. They, or like like if they're like oh i did this and it was came out so stupid or oh i gained five pounds like don't don't be like oh i did i i don't even notice you're crazy that will turn them off they'll be like okay if you won't even tell me the truth on something as little as this why would you tell me the truth on the big shit you know so yeah definitely heavy scorpio vibes <laughs> they might have scorpio on the chart or you do um, but yeah, just, just be, just be honest, be honest with them, even about the stupid shit. That's their, like, honesty is the best policy with this person. And by them seeing they can trust you, you can trust them. That's a great reading. That was a really nice reading. Um, I, let me know if anything resonated. Let me know if you or the person is a Scorpio or has Scorpio in their chart, because that is hilarious. Let me know if anything resonated. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you want, leave me a comment, a like. I would totally appreciate it, but thank you so much. Um, hello, adventuring pal number two. Let's see. Can I trust this person? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. Six of wands. Ten of wands. The sun. Okay. Four of cups. Strength. And knight of pentacles. Okay, so Six of Wands is success, public recognition, and confidence. Ten of Wands is difficulties. The Sun, wish for fulfillment. Four of Cups, meditation, contemplation, rejuvenation. <sighs> Strength card, Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Actually, that's a page. Financial, financial opportunities, manifestation. Give me a second. Yeah. This person, they are popular and charismatic. They are possibly a fire sign. Definitely getting Leo Sagittarius, heavy Leo, Leo Sagittarius Aries. They have a lot of people around them, but they don't know, they don't see the real person. They are, 
like they put out a public persona and then few people really know what's inside and that's really hard for them it's hard for them to act strong all the time just know that it's hard for them to keep it up and like their ultimate wish would be to have someone who they don't have to put their mask on with but they feel like they just don't know that many people like that like around their family yeah it's cool but around people they don't you know they don't have they don't, I feel like exhausted like they're so tired of pretending they're so tired of being fake who I feel bad man like they feel like it's like a challenge to keep this mask up so but ultimately they want someone who they can trust and can trust them let's see this is about manifestation wish come true yeah so they they really want that they want someone to trust them for someone to trust them and it was 11 11 on my little timer when i said that 11 minutes 11 seconds so so uh, are they trustworthy thank you i just want a clear answer you know what i mean like i feel like this is telling me like they're tired which yeah we all are we um okay Ten of Swords, Two of Cups. So in the past, they've had crappy relationships. This is a reoccurring thing. They have had crappy relationships. They've been through it. The Hierophant Legality. They may be divorced. They may be a Cancer. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like more of a Cancer. Um, Ace of Wands. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like they have a really negative outlook on trusting people anyway. Like, they're like, ugh, do I even want to do this? Is this even worth it? Is this something I want to pursue? But once, they, once they're once there, it's going to take off. It's going to, like, you'll see. So again, I feel like this is just someone, yeah... Yeah, you, they have trust issues for sure. Trust issues for sure. But it's like, they never really learned how to be trustworthy because of all the crap they've experienced. Like, it's been a lot. Like, they feel like it's been their whole life. So they may have family issues too. Their parents may have been divorced. And it could just be a lot of like, traveling going back and forth not really having a stable childhood please let me know in the comments below if you know this about this person if their parents were divorced or if they have had a lot of relationships where they were cheated on or anything like that um but i'm not sure it's not telling me whether or not this person is trustworthy so let's go ahead and ask the santa Martha tarot let's see hello um can you tell us is this person trustworthy is this person trustworthy thank you thank you is this person trustworthy wow okay thank you okay Ooh, huh so this one's done wasn't meant to be in there king of swords king of cups Seven of Wands, Page of Swords, Knight of Wands. Okay, so I feel like this person is still learning and maturing and developing and becoming the person they're meant to be. So with that being said, they're very, they can grow into this person. They can, they can be trustworthy. They can be trustworthy. Under the like circumstances, growing out of the correct foundation, it is possible. But not right off the bat. So don't trust them right off the bat. Don't, don't give them... Don't, don't, you know, don't give them your Wi-Fi password just yet. It's <laughs> just, um, see them, see where they are. And at one point, you know, maybe they'll be around for it, maybe not. But they're going to grow into a really mature, trustworthy person. Now, whether or not it's going to be for you, mm, I don't know. But, um, let's go ahead and read your advice. I feel like your advice card is, this is just telling me that they'll... 
they're working on it they're growing it's gonna happen but your advice is the king of swords You do not need to deal with an argument directly when you already know you can win, but rather to redirect your efforts towards a more profitable and emotional objectives. So they may get really defensive. That's what I'm getting. Like when you try to open them up, when you try to ask about their childhood, when you try to, um, you know, ask those questions, they just get like, whoa, like, I don't like this. I'm not cool with this. I need a moment. So yeah, um, definitely go ahead and, um, you know, like I said, don't trust them right off the bat. They have the capacity to be trustworthy, but don't go give them your heart right away. I feel like that was a love question. Yeah, but please let me know if anything resonated on the bottom. You know, comment below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope you have a great year, week, whatever. Okay. Hi, Amethyst. Let's see. Can I trust this person? Pile number three. Okay. We got six of pentacles, generosity. Two of Pentacles, options and priorities. The Devil, okay. The Moon card, Secrets. Queen of Swords. Scorpio card, Death. The Hermit, okay. So you might be dealing with a, this can go for basically anyone. I got Capricorn, I have Cancer. I have Scorpio, I ha so definitely heavy water, but in short, what I'm seeing here with the devil, the death card, the hermit, <laughs> the moon, these are all cards about lies and secrets and endings. That's an ending card. So I'm going to go ahead and go with just based off of this reading, no. This person likes to juggle. This person likes to keep their options open. They're very generous with their time, if you know what I mean. Um, they're fine with being alone. They're in this Queen of Swords energy where they will cut anyone who tries to come close to them. Like, they got that sword up and they're just ready to slice and dice. Like, don't come too close. Um, they're very toxic. It's in their nature to, to lie. And they were never really taught better. Like, I feel like they have really toxic parents. Ooh. And it hurts them. It, um, it definitely affects their life. It affects their relationships. And they feel alone a lot of the time. And they want to change it, but they can't help it. They're almost like a sociopath, like a compulsive liar. Sorry, I'm getting uncomfortable. I'm not a leg. Ooh, and my candle started going crazy and smoking when I said that about them being a compulsive liar. Um, so yeah, just based off of this reading, they're very generous with their time. They like to keep their options open. They're alone because of all the secrets they keep. And yeah, it's sad, but they will cut anyone who tries to get close. They're very manipulative and they like to lie, which leads to a lot of endings. They could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, or a Cancerian too. Um, but yeah, I would... I would say avoid this person like the plague. No offense. Please comment below if anything resonated. But this person is... They lie a lot about stupid shit too. About stupid stuff. Like, like you'll be like, hey, did you watch the game last night? And they'll lie and be like, yeah, I did. Did you like it? And it's like, why the fuck would you lie about something like that? Or did you... Did you did you use my sharpener? And then they'll be like, no, no, I would never do that. When they did. And it's like on their desk. It's like, why would you lie about that? I don't care. It's a fucking sharpener. I don't know. You know, let's get you some experience or some, <laughs> some advice from the month of my tarot. Okay. Can we get some advice for number three? Thank you for those dealing with Pinocchio. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. We got three cards. All right, we got Eight of Swords, Six of Cups, Page of Pentacles. So yeah, this person's immature. That's what that's telling me. Eight of Swords, calm before the storm. There may become a moment where you have to confront them about it and be like, hey, the fuck? I feel like this is your advice, Six of Cups. So let's see what that is. Six of Cups. Um... Carefully analyze the reasons for your current situation and use the energy at your disposal to organize your future rather than letting it shrivel and stagnant. I 
can't make this shit up. Like, the, the, even the cards are like, you really want to deal with it? You really want to go down this path? Like, I feel like you see the red flags. Like, if they, if they bum a 20 off of you on the first date, that's a red flag, babe. Or, you know, they, this, run. <laughs> this long, run from the devil. You are dancing with the devil. Let someone else cut in. You don't want it. You don't want it. This person is toxic to the T. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sure that's not what you wanted to hear, especially if you're looking up a tarot reading about them. But I'm being chill with you, man. Even the tarot is like, don't put your energy into this. Don't waste your time. This person is not trustworthy. So, yeah. Um, please let me know. Comment down below if anything resonated. I would love to know. Are they a Scorpio? Because that, yeah. The card, uh, I don't know. It could be anything, but heavy Scorpio vibes. Or are you Scorpio? Um, but yeah, thank you so much for my, uh, watching. Have a good month, day, year, hour. I don't know what's going on with you, but yeah.